Keeping your home organized can be challenging. Keeping your home organized when you have kids can be downright impossible. I'm gonna show you some ideas for the most problematic kid areas in your home. When we're done, they're gonna be tidy and kid and parent approved. And just a heads up, you can get product links for everything we're using in the description below. Here are all the things we're gonna get organized. Schoolwork and artwork, arts and crafts supplies, toys, video gaming systems, coats, jackets, and backpacks. If you are a parent, then you most likely know the pain of the post arts and craft cleanup. There's yarn, there's tape, there's markers, there's glue, there's scissors. It's just everything everywhere. Nothing is organized. This is how 90% of you probably handle this type of mess. Just kind of throw everything into a bin. All right, so I've got some ideas to help you organize this mess. It's gonna be a whole lot easier to find things, to put away things, and it's gonna look better too. The first step is to gather all your supplies so you know what amount and sizes you're dealing with. If you're anything like me, you probably think your house sometimes feels like it's an actual craft store. All right, once everything is sorted, you're going to find a home for each item. Now, I mean all the way down to every little item. The more you sort, the better your organization will be. So these little wood dowels, they can be used for all kinds of craft projects, are gonna go into a clear bin like this. Clear bins are awesome because it makes cleanup a breeze. You know what goes into each container. Metal paint pails are awesome for things that you wanna have easy access to, like scissors. Mason jars come in a variety of sizes, so they're really great to store crayons, colored pencils, markers, and they look pretty great too. You can think outside the box a bit for your organization needs. This is actually a fridge and freezer bin, but I love it because it's clear, they're stackable, and it's the perfect size for some of my supplies. So think in different departments. It doesn't have to be all within the craft world. This is gonna work great. This is just a larger version, perfect for yarn. Another great tip from the kitchen is to use a Lazy Susan to store some of your crafting supplies. It's really great because it can spin and then you can take them on and off using Velcro. I'm gonna put one piece on the Lazy Susan, another piece I have on the bottom of my mason jar, and then you can attach it right on. This works really great for the center of a craft table. You can just basically put this on the table with all the supplies your kids need. You can swap them in and out, and then also makes it really easy when it's on your shelf, organization, you're not tipping things over, they're a bit more secure. Bins and baskets are great for larger items. I really like this one just because of the natural texture on it. It doesn't look over the top kiddish. One of my most important tips is to label everything. If you don't have a label maker, get one. I guarantee you're gonna love it. I'm gonna label every bin, every container so that we know where all of these craft supplies go. I'm using this great industrial style bookshelf to hold all the crafting supplies. Remember, just because it's for kids crafting supplies doesn't mean it can't look awesome. When deciding where supplies should go on the shelf, think about what items get used the most. Those most frequently used items should be at eye level or accessible to kids so they can grab them and put them away themselves. If the craft area is a shared space with adult crafting items that you don't want the kids to access, like super sharp scissors, put those supplies on higher shelves. It took about an hour and we completely revamped this crafting situation, taking it from chaos to full on creativity hub. Now that everything has a home, cleaning up after an art project will be so much quicker and less stressful. Let's talk about kids' schoolwork and artwork. There's nothing sweeter, but let's be honest, you have a lot of it and it's everywhere. Knowing what to do with it can feel a bit overwhelming. Do you hold onto it, display it, recycle it, and hope they don't notice? Let's solve this dilemma. Kids love having their work on display, so we're gonna create a place where you can put their masterpieces of the moment. No need to overcomplicate this, so we're using a simple curtain rod I picked up at Lowe's. Determine how large you want your display area to be and attach the rod into the drywall using the provided brackets and screws. If you don't hit studs, make sure to use anchors and attach it securely. I'm using simple curtain ring clips that I can hang artwork with. They work for a range of artwork shapes and sizes. Now it's time to decide what to display. Personally, my kids love to swap out their art pretty regularly and I just leave it up to them. Just gotta clip it on. Then when you wanna replace one, it's super easy and doesn't damage the art. Like artwork, school papers tend to pile up with no end in sight. Wall-mounted mailboxes are a cute and easy solution for keeping school papers in order. I painted these mailboxes a green color that works perfectly with the rest of the decor. You can use multiple mailboxes for storing different types of items. Hang the mailboxes low enough so that kids can sort their paperwork themselves. Well, that took less than an hour and we went from arts and crafts chaos to full-on creativity hub.
Okay, on to kids' toys. Toys are the most common organizational issue that parents have, and for good reason. No matter how many times you clean up, it just feels like they're always scattered around everywhere. Almost feels like they're just raining down from the sky. We're gonna take care of that. Get started by gathering all the toys that you need to corral and start sorting. Form piles of like items, such as stuffed animals, action figures, Legos, blocks, books. Store these items by category in different size bins. Rope baskets or fabric bins are great for little kids because they're durable and they don't have any potentially dangerous sharp edges or corners. Wooden bins are great for books because they're a little bit heavier and more durable. Pails are great for small toys like Legos or building blocks and they look super cute too. Just because we're organizing kids' toys doesn't mean that our containers all have to be bright, primary rainbow colors. You can absolutely still use neutrals that kind of blend in with the style of your home. This is also really helpful if you're storing toys in a room that isn't exclusively a kid's playroom because then they kind of just disappear once everything's put away. Now, let's pull it all together. Put your baskets and bins in a cube organizer. These are great for kids because it's really easy for them to see and understand exactly where the containers go once playtime is over. Putting an organizational system in place for these toys didn't take much time, but it totally transformed the functionality of the space and looks pretty great too. Kids' organization isn't just for little kids. If you have teens or tweens, it's very likely that your TV area has been taken over by gaming systems. The consoles, the controllers, all the accessories. I've got a couple quick and easy ideas that will completely help you take care of this situation. So what's going on here is pretty typical. It's basically what my house looks like all the time too. The kids don't put the games away, they don't put the controllers away, there's headsets. I don't even know what half the stuff is for, but I know that we can do better than this. When it comes to decluttering gaming accessories, in-drawer organizers are your best friend. Use an organizer with different size compartments to fit all of the accessories, adapters, and smaller scale items. If your kids are anything like mine, their controllers are left out all the time. Here's an easy solution. Use Velcro to attach these controllers to the side of the media unit. They're really easy to put away, but they're kind of out of sight. Velcro might not work for all of your controllers. You may need to use a hook for some larger, heavier pieces. Command hooks are my favorite because they won't damage the side of your furniture piece and they come in a variety of sizes. Your front entryway can become a post-school dumping ground for jackets and backpacks, but not anymore. I've got an idea to clean it all up and it's gonna look super cute too. I love the idea of making a kid's zone a focal point of an area. First, we'll give this space a pop of color with painted stripes. They'll act as the backdrop for each kid's storage area. Whenever I'm painting stripes, I always measure, level, and then use a really high quality painter's tape that will give me perfectly crisp, clean lines. All right, now that I added some color, I'm gonna start adding some functionality. Now what I have here is a one by six pine board that I've painted to match the walls because this is gonna be the support for some awesome hooks that I'm gonna be adding as well. So what I need to do is drill this board into my studs. This is where we're gonna be adding hooks for backpacks and jackets, so make sure the wood is low enough on the wall that your child can easily reach them. Next, we're gonna place wooden crates at the base of the wall directly under the hooks. Wooden crates are great for storing shoes, lunch boxes, and all the other items that tend to accumulate near your front door. I painted the crates with the matching stripes so everything ties together. And now we have a functional, fun way for your kids to store their bags and jackets. There you have it, friends. Now you are well equipped to roll up your sleeves and start organizing like a pro. Which of these areas in your home are you most excited to tackle? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Want to learn more? Be sure to subscribe to the Lowe's YouTube channel for great step-by-step -step and how-to videos. And remember, you can find all the products I used in the description below.